Hi everyone, welcome to Control Alt Craft. Rose with you, and today we are making this macrame wall hanging. Please watch the entire video before attempting this project yourself. For this project, you will need macrame rope, such as this roll I bought from Lindcraft, as well as a wooden dowel, scissors, craft glue, a hot glue gun, a comb, a paintbrush, and some calico. To start, attach a length of rope to the dowel on either end so that your piece hangs on the wall at your desired length. Cut 10 lengths of approximately three meters each and attach them to the dowel using a lark's head knot as shown. Adjust the ropes until you have them sitting right where you want them. A lark's head knot is created by folding a length of rope in half, taking the loop in the middle and draping it over the dowel and then pulling the remaining length of rope through. This may seem like a lot of rope, but trust me, you are going to need it. To start our project, we are going to do a series of square knots. Square knots are created by taking four strands. Strand one crosses over the two middle strands, but weaves under strand four. Strand four then crosses behind the middle strands and is pulled through the loop on the other side created by strand one. Pull firmly. Now do the reverse. Take what is now strand four and cross it over the top of the middle strands and weave it under strand one. Take strand one and weave it behind the middle strands and pull it through the loop on the other side created by strand four. Pull firmly. Depending on how tight you pull the strands, it will change the overall look of the project. So experiment first before deciding on how you wish to do this. There will be a link in the description below with a website that contains more detailed information on how to make the knots that I am using in this project. I'll leave that link there for you so you can check it out yourself. Continue these square knots all the way along. Next, take two right strands from the first knot and the two left strands from the second knot and create a square knot out of those four strands.
continue these knots all the way along. Continue to create a V-shape by creating more alternating square knots. You may decide to go back and make yours longer like I did, simply by adding more knots down the side lengths of the V-shape. Our next step is to create two rows of hitches or clove knots. Pull the far left cord diagonally down the length of the V shape above all the other strands. This will be the base thread. Take the next strand of rope and cross it under the base strand, then bring it up and over and in between the two strands as shown. Repeat this twice per strand all the way along down the length of the V. This knot can be tricky as a beginner, but the wonderful thing about macrame is that you can generally undo and redo knots as much as you like. So don't be disheartened if you make a mistake, just keep practicing till you get it right. Once you reach the middle point of the V, stop and move to the other side and repeat this whole process.
When you reach the middle, secure this row with a half square knot. We are going to make a second row of hitches or clove knots to strengthen the hold of the bottom of our piece. This is more likely to prevent the knots from coming undone. Finish this row off with a full square knot. Now for the fun feathers or leaves at the bottom. I might have lost my recording on how I started this section, but it's the same throughout the three leaves. I chose the third and fourth strands from either side and the two middle strands to be the base of my leaves or the stems. Take shorter 30cm length pieces of rope and create lark's head knots like the ones you created on the dowel, but using the two strands as the base or stem of the leaf instead of a dowel. I chose to do 15 lark's head knots per leaf but you can make the leaves as wide and as long as you like.
got rather impatient, and so I trimmed my leaves as I went, rather than doing them all at the end. Don't trim them too much, but allow a little more than your desired length. You can always take away, but you cannot add. We'll be doing more trimming later. Now we need to unravel the strands that make up the leaves. I predominantly use my fingers to unravel the strands and then comb them out after. To help the leaves retain their shape, we're going to cut some calico into roughly the shapes we want the leaves to stay in.
Once we've cut all three leaf shapes, it's time to hit the workbench. Turn your piece over so that it's back to front. Using a hot glue gun, glue down the length of the stem of each leaf one at a time, placing the leaf shape calico backing on top. And press down firmly, with another object ideally, so that you don't burn yourself. Once you've applied the backing to each of the three stems, take a paintbrush and some glue and pour it over the leaves. Spread it with a paintbrush and press down on the backing. Let the project dry overnight and then trim the leaves to desired length in the morning. And there you have it, your beautiful macrame wall decoration. Doesn't it look great? I'm just doing a couple of like panning shots. Um, a couple that are a bit closer up so you can see how it looks as a finished product. You can barely see the calico backing behind it. Um, so yeah, I just think overall it just looks like a fun little great project. There's a close-up of like all the different knots uh, that I've used in the project. Um, and there's a artsy fartsy shot. Uh, and to finish up, I have a fun little video of my cat Paisley enjoying the macrame just as much as I did. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye! <laughs>